K-I-L-R Taylor Games Simmers and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world featuring X Plane 5 or X System 5, as this uh, tends to be called. Uh, if we go over here to the about, uh, it'll say X System version 5.52, uh, which includes, uh, I guess, X Plane, uh, part maker, plane maker, world maker, weather briefer and X-Plane, all by Austin Myers. So X-System would be all of that together. But we just call it uh, X-Plane. Well, we've got a different aircraft here. This happens to be a Mooney. Um, we can always go over here and click on What Am I Flying? And it will tell us. A Mooney TLS, tail number, Mike 6822 Echo. I almost said East. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about where it is uh, that we are and where we're going. Alrighty, so we are here at Lansing Municipal. And we're going to be flying over here to Chicago Midway. We're getting things set up for a uh, special flight uh, that's going to be coming up real soon. And uh, if you don't already know, um, the World Tour is duplicated with all the other simulators. So, uh, going all the way back to Flight Simulator 2 from Microsoft. I would say 1, but the airports there are so limited that it kind of has to do its own thing. Um, but I try to do it as similar as possible. Um, and those simulators have already gone through these airports a while ago. So if you ever wanted to know what's coming up, take a look at the other simulators and <laughs> you'll see what's coming. But I, I do this uh, so that way you can see how these flights uh, compare uh, with each of the simulators. You may be wanting to, to uh, start off watching a flight with this old X-plane and see how it develops uh, with the X-planes that came after that. Or um, you may you may want to relive some old memories or maybe create some new ones, such as, oh, you know, I wonder what it would be like if uh, with an old simulator and flying from air, airport to airport. Well, you know, here we go. This This is what this series is all about. And that map that I'm showing you is from uh, Flight Simulator 2, uh, which is what we started off with. And so it just seems uh, kind of natural to keep using that map since everything starts off uh, based on what I did on the Commodore 64. Let's get everything ready here. Um, we're going to go ahead and... put in the information for Midway. Should be KM. KMTW here. There we go, Chicago Midway, 17 miles away. We'll go and turn on our lights. I think this is neat. Turn on the light, you can see it there. Um, the sun is beginning to go down, so it's beginning to look a little darker. The weather has cleared up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and go down 
uh, the taxiway down here and we'll uh, take off on runway 27. While we're moving, we can also file a flight plan too. Let's see, I don't think we have ADIS information here. Well, we can get it from Midway, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Chicago Midway Information Alpha. 2200 Zulu weather. Measured ceiling 4500, broken visibility 20. Temperature 82.32. Wind com, altimeter 29.92. Arriving and departing runway for right. Advise on initial contact, you have Alpha. <clears throat> now this, uh, this is actually a very fascinating um, look back into the past. Because this uh, happens to have a grass runway at it. And the old versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator had the same thing. Um, so I believe that Lansing Municipal, once upon a time, had a grass runway. Here it is, right here. Uh, that ran north and south. And right where that um, grass runway would be is now a taxiway. Um, and there is a much longer uh, paved north-south runway. <coughs> so it's interesting from a uh, historical perspective as far as... what some of these airports used to be like. Um, for example, in the old uh, Midway, um, the old Midways did not have a, did not have a uh, center runway. Um, I forget which, which run, uh, runway that is, but it had a right and left, it didn't have a center. <coughs> we'll go ahead and file that flight plan here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and fly an IFR flight. All we need to do is just type in the destination there. KMDW. Oh, yeah, we need to put in a cruising altitude. Um, I don't make it too high. Let's put uh, 2,200. Hopefully we won't have a problem with the, uh, the pitch and stuff. Um, we had that problem the last time. I may not use autopilot this time around. I think that might have been part of the problem with the last plane, hopefully. I don't think that filed it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Mooney 6A22 echo cleared. As filed, maintain at or below 1500. Expect 2010 minutes after that. Contact center on 129.55 when airborne. Squawk 7605. Time now 223Z. Clearance void. If not off by 2213Z. Now I don't think it really matters as far as the uh, squawking and stuff, but um, or like what you set the uh, com panel to, which actually I'm not seeing that. Oh, here it is. Here's the com panel. Um, we also got a, we have a couple of navigational things here we didn't have the last time, too. Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit. Here's KIGQ right here, Lansing. These are like intersections here. Uh, and we also have uh, a very uh, useful um, charts here that you can take a look at right here. So this also shows you um, like little lakes and everything. Be sure you don't click on any of this. It'll automatically take you there. See it says right here, click on the map to place the aircraft. So 
we'll get going here. Echo Roger, proceed on course to Chicago Midway altimeter 29.92. Reset transponder squawk 1660. Say goodbye to the Lansing. Mooney 6A to Echo Contact Chicago Midway Approach on 120.25. Mooney 6A to Echo Turn White Heading 300 Climb and Maintain 3000 Feet Vector Stay in W04 Orioles, if you would like another approach instead, just tell me. <laughs> just tell me. <laughs> well, let's see if we can choose a different approach. What is it? Uh, runway 31? Mooney 6A to Echo Climb and maintain 3000 feet. Okay, here we go, midway, oh, this one's got 31 center, that's good. Yeah, let's choose that one. Mooney 6A to Echo turn right heading 010, climb and maintain 3000 feet vectors, A and W31 seals. If you would like another approach instead, just tell me. Six A to two echo climb and maintain three thousand feet. Seven seven Lima Lima, contact me on one two four point five five, please. Six one eight seven Kilo, you have traffic at your eleven o'clock. Should be no factor. <laughs> no factor. Alright, so one of the things that I want to do here, I did not set my trim, so let me go ahead and set the trim here. What you do is click the button on your controller 
and if nothing's assigned then it will go here to uh, nothing so I can go here and look for trim uh, so here is uh, all ale airline trim left and right that's not what I want I want pitch pitch trim oh it's just right here okay so here is trip down for that one and then trim up here and these other two buttons see I use this control right here these this works out pretty well for me um, I have uh, two trigger buttons here or four of them I love this controller um, I usually use the bottom triggers for brakes but I think I'm gonna use that for uh, Aeolon uh, trim so we'll do left and right and my speed brakes are already set. Yeah, this thing's got speed brakes. How about that? Seven two nine or five Juliet contact center on one two two point zero five. I'm making use of my elevator trim now. Lake Michigan should be over in that direction. Oh, there it is. You can see it right there. There's Chicago. Seven two nine and leave us a return white heading zero five zero vectors around a beach duke at your eleven o'clock. <laughs> around a beach duke. Six A to two echo climb and maintain three thousand feet. Three four five Golf Charlie reset transponder squawk one zero five four. Echo turn white heading zero three five. Zero three five, all right. To to echo, descend and maintain three thousand feet. <laughs> Having a hard time, uh staying at the uh, altitude that they're telling us. Booney 6A to Echo turn left heading 320. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Uh, 
autopilot is simple, but I think it's doing the trick. Mooney 6A2 to echo, intercept, localizer, altimeter 29.92, clear, A and W, 31 CEO's contact tower. Hey, I'm not sure what the ILS is. Mooney 6A2 to echo, squawk 7700, turn right heading 315 vector, Chicago Midway. They are about seven miles from your current position. I think that's it right there. This is where that ILS would have come in handy. I thought about pausing uh, to look up the ILS, but that's okay. I think we're doing just fine. Looks like we got a good uh, descent here. Oh, hi, Shadow. I 
we don't even need to use a speed brake. <laughs> hey, boy. Although the small airports have buildings, uh, this one does not. Kind of bizarre. Hi. Kind of hard to determine where to park. We can go to an external shot. So this seems like this would be a good place to park here. All right, looks good. Put on our parking brakes. Now I don't see uh, any magnetos or anything here to be able to turn the plane on or off. So. What's the matter? Don't you want to say hi to everyone? I think he wants to go out, which this is perfect timing. So, hey, welcome to Chicago Midway. Uh, he's scratching a scratching post. <laughs> if you enjoyed this flight, please click that like button and share the video. Sure. It helps out, believe it or not. And if you're new here, hey, why not subscribe? And click that notification bell so that way you get notified of future flight simulation content, uh, such as the next X-Plane flight. Uh, whether it's version 5 or all the way up to version 11 and I got more stuff here than just a world tour uh, There are other types of flight simulation videos that I do And then I also do live streaming over on twitch so head on over there and, and uh, give me a follow uh, I'll do live streaming throughout the week and uh, I do flight simulation there uh, as well as some other things. So, hey, I look forward to seeing you and uh, being able to chat with you. And then I also uh, have an Instagram account where I put pictures and photos of projects that I'm working on uh, behind the scenes. Twitter is my official communication channel with you folks. Let you know what's going on. Uh, official killer news and announcements and retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchat. Well, I guess that's a communication channel. It's just for fun. Uh, just silly little pictures with uh, with labels and stuff. And then Patreon, which is more of a serious type of communication channel. Uh, for those of you who uh, like what it is that I do and, and would like to uh, support and donate, um, there is that. And you do get something in return. There are bonuses and rewards there. So please check that out. Different tier levels, too. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. we got a fun flight on the next one. I will see you on the next leg of our journey. Have a killer, awesome day.